Hello friends, my name is Aniket. So uh, today we are going to see how to create a volume mesh in Feast software. So we can either import uh, volume, uh, that means step we can import or IGS we can import and mesh uh, those volume or surfaces or we can create mesh uh, surface geometry itself in our uh, software and we can mesh it so uh, in this video we are going to see how to create a geometry mesh it and create a volume mesh okay so we'll start so uh, first of all we'll go to geometry curve create circle we'll create a circle with uh, let us consider this as my center point and radius let us consider 50 mm so this software basically is unit independent software so whatever units you are considering you uh, should be consistent with the unit system so the, all the material properties as well as uh, physical properties should be in mm if you are considering it as a mm system so now i have created a, a curve of 50 radius i'll hide the grid so it's just a curve i'll on this node uh, labeling system so i'll click on curve so one curve is here so i'll go to geometry surface create using curves and bound it i'll drag this curve i'll click on apply a surface is created on the curve okay now I'll go for meshing FE mesh quad this is my surface in surface I'll click on the surface initial size either you specify uh, element size or click on divisions if you want to increase the number of divisions you click on left by the mouse button to increase the mesh density right click to decrease the mesh density i'll make this as 30 here the method is power and mapped this power means auto mesh and we have other map mesh so right now i'll go to auto mesh four node type is four node that means quad four or quad eight so i'll keep it quad four apply so this is my mesh now i'll go to mesh since i have uh, meshed it i'll go to mesh element create and i'll extrude this so element ids here i'll drag these elements that means i'll select all these elements so either you can drag this elements or we have we can type here a double l or another option is here select all now in this extrude vector here 0 oblique 0 oblique 0 means x oblique y oblique z now we have to extrude these elements in a direction of z so as you can see we have to extrude it in a direction of z so i'll place 100 with 10 segments and i'll click on apply so as you can see this mesh has been extruded okay so this 2d mesh has been extruded and now this becomes a brick mesh okay so we have uh, done this extrusion option i'll go to this delete now for example if i want to delete this mesh I'll go to mesh element miscellaneous delete for instance I'll delete all these elements and we'll see again how to mesh it so this is my surface again I'll go to mesh fe mesh quad I'll select this surface in divisions I'll click on apply so my mesh is over I'll go to mesh again elements create and extrude in this i'll select all these elements 
extrude vector is 100 see in z direction 100 segments 10 now i will show what segment is and what is scale factor so in the scale factor 1 oblique 1 oblique 1 means it will extrude it in direction of z without increasing or decreasing or without scaling it so i'll go to scale option i'll scale it and i'll click on apply so as you can see i have extruded and uh, here this segment 10 means this 10 uh, this uh, 100 we have extruded to 100 it is divided into 10 segments so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 then now i'll go to show option here uh, if i want to hide this nose i'll click on this nose if i want to hide these curves or surfaces i can do this Now I'll go to mesh element create on face. So now we have this 3D elements. So I'll create 2D elements on this face. Apply. Now I'll go to this erase option. I'll erase this 3D elements. So only 2D elements will be visible to me. Now I'll extrude this element. So I'll go to mesh, FB mesh or elements create and extrude. I'll again select all these elements in negative direction of Z with let us consider five segments. So now we have extruded this. I'll go to elements, show elements of. So I have unhided those elements which I have hide previously. Similarly, again I'll go to mesh element create on face option. This I stands for isoface. If you click on this surface, entire elements, element faces on that face will be selected. And I'll click on apply. Again, these are all 3D elements. So I'll go to erase element. Here, uh, last second last option is erase element. So I'll click on that. So I'll hide this uh, 3D elements. For that, we have option D3 apply so 2d elements will be visible now again i'll go to mesh element create and extrude i'll select all these elements i'll extrude it to let us consider 50 with five segments in direction of z and click on apply now i'll again go to show option show elements all So now if you want to uh, check the free edge, I'll, uh, we have option here free edge, I'll click on this. So these are the free edges. So I'll go to mesh node, modify and merge. Since nodes there are not merged properly, so we'll click on this merge option with tolerance 0 0.0001 and I'll click on apply. If you want to increase the tolerance, you can increase done so now this one represents curve so i'll go to label i'll uh, hide this option again this free edge so there are no free edge so this is my volume mesh now what i'll do i'll just erase some of the elements to show the mesh inside this so i have erased some of the elements so you can see equality so all these elements will be q so i'm just uh, hiding it i'm not deleting this so again i'll go to show elements all apply okay so this is all for this video thanks for watching bye bye